hi guys and welcome back today we are going to create this accordion and this accordion is not having text it is with image but anyways you can choose what do you want in the accordion I have created this starter files folder in which we have all the images you can download the image from the description of this video also if you want to use some other images you are free to do so and uh, yeah then let's start with the coding just create a simple text document and rename it to accordion.html and remove the .txt extension alright then open it in the text editor that you have and let's start with the html tag alright then let's quickly fill in the title then get inside the body tag and let's begin with a container this div is going to enclose the entire accordion right then get inside and let's start with the title let's create another div and this div is going to be the wrapper for the accordion so let's give it class gallery hyphen wrap then get inside and create another div class item space item hyphen one item class will be used to make it accordion the item one class will define the image and in the same way we are going to define four more div tags and each div will have different item number so that we can have different images with different divs all right so up till this point only the text is visible in the browser then let's begin with the css and in the same way as we have done with the html let's just create a simple text document and rename it to style.css and remove the .txt extension now we need to link this css style sheet with our html page and for that we are going to use a link so quickly jump into the head section and create a new link and the source will be style.css and since both of these two files that is the html and the css are next to each other in the same folder so we don't have to give any relative address for this css style sheet all right then let's get into the css so this video property sets or returns the minimum number of lines for an element that must be visible at the top of a page and this is essentially used for printing or print preview purpose then let's style the container and remove the padding and the margin and give it a width of 80 percent the display flex so that it is an flexible item and the flex direction column so that the elements we have defined under this are in different rows but in a single column let's style the h1 these are pretty simple you can just go ahead and start typing it along with me all right now let's start with the gallery wrap because this class is containing the entire accordion so let's give it a width of 100% display 
flex flex direction row because we want accordion items to be in different columns but we want them to be in a single row next to each other then let's style the item class and flex one space one space zero so this flex is a shorthand property for defining three flex properties in a single go the first one defines flex grow the second one is the flex shrink and the third one is the flex basis and this flex grow property is a sub property of the flexible box layout module and it defines the ability for a flex item to grow if necessary and it accepts a unit less value that serves as a proportion and the flex grow property specifies how much the item will grow relative to the rest of the flexible items inside the same container and it takes a number and in the same way the flex shrink property specifies how the item will shrink relative to the rest of the flexible items inside the same container and the number specifies how much the item will shrink relative to the rest of the flexible items and since the flex grow and shrink is once the item will retain its same size and the flex basis property specifies the initial length of a flexible item so this initial length can be a length unit or a percentage which is used to specify the initial length for the flexible item anyways then height 100% and background position center then background size cover background repeat no repeat and the transition effect has to be applied to the flex then let's just define the images right now let me give it the hovering effect all right flex grow seven so it means that the item will grow seven times relative to the rest of the flexible items that's why we can see the images getting enlarged and since the shrink is one so the items will not shrink Let me just center align the accordion. For that we can change the margin property. Just make it zero space auto so that the top bottom is zero and the left right is auto. And that's all. We have the accordion so you can go ahead and use it in your projects. I'm going to see you in the more templates for the accordion in the subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.